It's Tuesday, so it's time for another My Q&A. This week, Pablo Castro asks, Thank you for the tutorial. I'm having trouble using opacity maps in the render view using the Arnold renderer. What's the problem with it? Please help me out. So we're going to start out with this wonderful Ronin rig from Josh Sobel. And you might notice that in my render view, you can see that the hair actually has all of this black to it and is not appearing like the objects which are inside my viewport. So what I need to do is I'm going to assign, first of all, a new material. I'm going to make sure that that material is an AI standard surface material like this. If I upgrade this like this, now I can see each one of the individual little cards here. And I will rename this to AI and give it a descriptive name, hair. So the first thing I want to do is either to add a color to this hair like this, or if I'm smart, I've actually created a texture file which came with Ronin, so I'm going to come through here and you're going to see that I have a Arnold texture hair in here and I'm going to open it up like this. So this will apply the colors to here, but I need to control the transparency of each one of the individual flecks. And to do that, I'm going to open up my AI hair shader. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom over here. I'm going to be playing around with this property called opacity, which controls how opaque or transparent the material actually is. So instead of controlling it with this slider, what I'm going to do is I am going to come through here. I'm going to look for a file. And that file is going to be this Ronan hair texture alpha where everything that's white is here and everything that is black will be transparent. So I've got this applied, but I'm not seeing a result inside my viewport. And that's because in Arnold, what I need to do is actually select the hair geometry, go into the Arnold tab and make sure that this opaque option is turned off. And as soon as I do that, you're gonna see that this clears up. And that's because the opacity control is on a per object basis, which is great. So I've got this material over here, but in my viewport, I still have all of these cards over here, which are not showing up too nicely. Now, there's a difference between the materials here and the materials over here. And what I'm gonna have to do is go into my renderer, viewport 2.0 options, and change the type of transparency in viewport 2.0 to alpha cut. I'll hit select over here, close that window down, and now you'll see that this has updated over here as well. So I've got my material for my AI hair set up with these two things, which is, first of all, I have a texture for the color of my hair, which is the base color, and then I have an alpha texture to control the transparency. And now I can continue to play around with all the settings that I have for the hair, and it should render out nicely. Thanks to Pablo for his question, and to you for watching. If you found the material useful, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and you can push the bell button to receive a notification of when I'm releasing my latest videos. So if you want to ask a question to help you improve your knowledge of Maya, just drop me a line in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, and as always, keep learning, stay strong, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.